Okay, so let's go on uh, creating that texture. Mm, go to your uh, renderings tab here and then create a camera. With that camera selected here, let's uh, rotate that guy negative 90 degrees in X so that it's pointing down. And then uh, what we could do now is move this guy up. Um, and what we have to do is we have to change some render settings here. So first of all, let's uh, change the focal length here to something like 90. And um, yeah, let's go to the render settings. And I want to render out a 4K map. So type in here uh, 4096 by 4096. So we wanted a fairly large image here. Let's go to quality tab. I'm rendering with mental ray. And yeah, it's set to a production. It's, that's OK. And now let's um, hit Control A to go to the attribute editor of that camera. And then under the environment of that camera that we created, set the background color here to white. Okay. And um, now what we have to do is check out um, our camera. So go here uh, to the quad view. And um, let's go here under the top view under panels perspective and say camera one and then we turn on here the resolution gate uh, what we could do also is hide that reference image and now we have to obviously we have to move this camera up so move it up here in y so that it gets all the pieces here of the geometry some something like that okay so and then um, what we want to do is select all of those objects here that we have and hit 3 to go to smooth version. So with those uh, smoothed out, we are ready to render uh, that image here. So let's um, go here to the render box. And uh, let me first check the render settings again. So I want to render out a, under the comments tab, uh, a Tiger or Tiff. Where is it? Oh, there. Let's uh, render out a Targa. Okay. And now um, go here to render and say render camera one. Okay, so the render is done. Um, so with that rendered out, let's go in here and uh, go under file and save save that image. And we save it uh, under our images folder uh, in our project and call this um, clock, clock face texture 01. And we want to save this as a target and say save. Okay, now we can close that window here. And then we are ready to go into Photoshop and um, finish that up. Okay, so let's open up those uh, files, so our, our UV snapshot and our clock face texture, and open that up here. It's two 4K maps. So let's uh, here with that UV snapshot select, hit Control A to select all, hit Control C, and then we copy that into our clock face texture. And let's dial it on the opacity so that we can see what's going on. And now we are missing, um, we are missing those. Uh, that Daytona and the Swiss made down there. So let's uh, try to uh, create that. So first of all, let's uh, create a s uh, ellipse. Take the ellipse tool here, and then uh, let me uh, give it here uh, some lines that help us out. And then uh, with the ellipse tool, let's say hit Alt and Shift or just uh, drag it and then hit shift to somewhere about here and then uh, hit V and move it here into position somewhere here and um, let me zoom in on that and then with that let's hit control T and then uh, to scale that up here let's hit um, alt and shift and move it proportionally okay to somewhere about here hit enter and now we take the text tool 
and uh, when you hover over that with that shape selected here hover over that um, circle you see that the text tool changes changes a little bit so if that uh, change to this symbol here click on that and then you can uh, write along that curve or whatever curve you shape you drawn here so now let's uh, type in Daytona in capital letters with that font um, micrograma extended and I choose uh, the color um, R in RGB uh, 74, 34, in, uh, 74 in red, 34 in green, and 32 in blue. Okay, so you have the same color, and then we take that here, um, click on that, and we can hit spacebar and bring it to somewhere where it should be. And then I think we could scale that up. So we take a bigger font here. Let's try something with uh, 72. I think that's that's good enough. Okay, so with that text selected, we could do is uh, yeah, bring that up a little bit more to somewhere about here. Okay, and now we do the same here on the bottom side and create that uh, Swiss made. Mm. So let's just create a text, and uh, this time we want the color black. And then we drag here, type in Swiss, take a smaller font for that, uh, select that first, I think something like 36 points is good enough. And then we bring it here and hit Ctrl T to transform and then rotate that guy a little bit somewhere about here and what we could do is uh, we take that guy and um, hit take the uh, hit enter first and then uh, hit control well, let's just create a new text so the same settings here Swiss made and uh, let me zoom in on that move it here somewhere into position, hit Control T to rotate that guy somewhere about here and then move it to here and then we uh, hit enter and they take the Swiss guy and move it a little bit hit the up arrow key on my keyboard yeah that's that's fine that should work so now let me zoom out here. We are ready to um, yeah, create the texture. So let me turn off the layer with our UV snapshot. And now let's uh, turn off that shape here. We don't need that anymore. And now let's uh, check out our text here. Um, strong. Let's uh, change the text here to smooth and the text of the Swiss uh, to smooth again or as well and then let's take the Daytona and uh, set it to smooth as well okay so now um, let's uh, save that file as a targo save as put it to your source images folder and uh, call this clock face texture 2 and I will save as this as a targo and there you go, 32 bits. And with that done, um, yeah, let me switch back to Maya. But before we go on um, uh, putting that texture on uh, a shader and stuff like that, um, I think I'm gonna pause this video and we'll finish this shader up in the next video and we will start working on the, the texture for that outer ring. So see you in the next video.